Okay, everybody, my name is Lyle, and welcome to the channel. So we're jumping back into some some Ryan George, but this is his pitch meeting um, channel. So this pitch meeting is about Top Gun. So thank you very much for sending that link. You know who you are. Let's jump into uh, Top Gun Maverick pitch meeting. So I've actually seen this movie. Um, it took me ages to watch the first Top Gun. I only watched it this, uh, last year, end of last year. So let's jump in and let's have a look at So that. you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I got a freaking Tom Cruise movie to pitch you. Oh, does he run? No, actually, his character in this one mostly just sits at a desk. So, you know, no running, unfortunately. I love oh. his run, I'm just messing he? with you. A couple of good cruise sprints for sure. <laughs> uh, I was going to ask you to get the hell out of here <laughs> and put a hit on you. What? what? So what's this movie? <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, I was thinking we make another Top Gun movie. That's a movie people have heard of. It sure is, sir. So after we copy paste the original intro we're gonna get right into this bad yeah the intro in the second one is almost exactly the same as the first one I agree with that completely. boy oh, getting into this bad boy is tight all right and so Maverick is a test pilot now and he's working on this jet trying to get it to go to Mach 10 okay and this Admiral wants to shut the program down so Mav gets in a jet before he issues the order and freaking does it oh wow 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 well, and so this Admiral guy is like, well, he's got balls, I'll give him that much. That's a fantastic compliment. I say that all the time to, you know, people next to me at urinals. What? <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, okay, my bad. Wait, anyway, then what? Mav gets a little cocky and pushes this thing even further, and it freaking disintegrates in midair. Oh, my God, so he dies? No, he's fine. How'd he survive a midair disintegration at over Mach 10? Well, we're gonna cut away. Oh, I understand. Yeah, characters can survive pretty much anything if you don't show how they did it. Very true. So then Mav gets back, <laughs> and obviously he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I mean, he just destroyed a multi-million dollar aircraft. It's gonna be hard for him to stay in the Navy after that. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Iceman from the first movie, he's a high-ranking commander now, so he steps in right at the nick of time to be like, actually, here's a job. Oh, boy, here we go. Yeah, so it turns out some bad guys are building an unsanctioned uranium equipment plant, so Mav has to go back to Top Gun and train some pilots. Who are the bad guys? Oh, it's this bad country, sir. Very bad. Okay, which one? Oops. <laughs> one of the bad ones, that's for sure. <laughs> one of, not good at all. Yeah, they never tell this you. This country. They What's it called? Listen, sir, I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about what country this is, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, let me get off of that thing. Probably best to not get specific anyway. Yeah, because Twitter exists now, all right? Let's just not go there. Pretty smart. So why doesn't the Navy just blow this place up with drones? Well, see, there's like GPS blocking and surface-to-air missiles and uh, blind spots. Just the exact circumstances we need to make the movie happen, okay? So just go with it. Okay, I will. And this freaking targets at the end of this big canyon and to hit they gotta hit this super precise exhaust port. Oh, they gotta do a Star Wars. No, it's not a Star Wars, oh. sir. It's just some pilots flying through tight spaces trying to blow up an evil base by hitting a very precise target in an exhaust port. That's a Star Wars. No, it's not. It's just this movie where one of the best pilots is this kid that Mav is gonna mentor, and he's actually the son of someone he used to fight with back in the day. <laughs> so this is a Star Wars. <laughs> hey, shut up. So basically, Mav has a couple of weeks to train these pilots to do a Star Wars. Nope. Uh, <laughs> ah, dang it. Anyway, so then he goes to talk to them in front of this building-sized American flag that they no, have set up in case that some. That is a massive American flag. What? The one heck? needs to be inspired. Sure. And then at the podium, Maverick does that cool teacher thing, you know, where he's like, "Hey, you know the rule book? Just toss it in the trash." And then he tosses it in the trash. Did they put a trash can next to the podium just in case he wanted to dramatically? throw something into it? Yeah, or maybe he specifically requested it. Who's to say? Huh. So anyway, then he's gonna start training these pilots, but he's having a hard time with Rooster, who's the son of his friend Goose that died in the first movie. He died in the first movie! Yeah, that's yeah, literally what I just said. So? So anyway, Rooster's not only mad at Mav about the death of his father, but also because Mav, like, messed with his papers at the request of his mom and took a couple years off his career. Yikes. And also sometimes Maverick is gonna kiss Jennifer Connelly, so we'll try to connect that to the first movie in some way. Oh, good for him. Anyway, so eventually Mav is having a real hard time making these pilots work as a team, so you know what he's gonna do? Sweaty shirtless beach volleyball like in the original? What? No, sir, come on, this is its own movie, okay? 
It's going to be sweaty, shirtless beach football. That is slightly <laughs> different. But then Iceman is going to die. During the football game? No, like off screen because he was sick. But that means that Mav no longer has his protector, so he gets fired and the Vice Admiral changes the mission parameters. Oh, no. But then to prove that the mission can actually be done, he steals a jet and flies it perfectly. They don't have any security around those things? Nope. Oh, great. So they go <laughs> on to this mission, which seems impossible. Oh, I feel like I'm having deja vu. And so they're flying and flying, and it's very exciting and nerve wracking and people watching are gonna have toned glutes. What? Toned glutes. You know, from clenching their butt cheeks. Oh, gotcha. And Rooster's kind of having a hard time, but then he kind of lets go and taps into something inside himself. The Force? It's not Star Wars, <laughs> sir. <laughs> and so then they manage to do the million and one shots, and Rooster does it without even using his targeting system. <laughs> what was that? That was Chewbacca celebrating. Oh, my God. So anyway, then they get out of there, and they get into a freaking dogfight with enemy jets. Uh-oh. And Mav is going to get shot down, and then Rooster's going to save him, but also get shot down. And so getting shot down's not a big deal, I guess, huh? Not for the good guys, sir, but for the bad guys, it's always lethal. Nice. So then Rooster and Mav sneak onto this enemy base, and it just so happens there's an operational F-14 Tomcat, which is the jet he flew in the first movie. Oh, we're going full nostalgia coincidence. Sure are, sir. So then they get into another dogfight, and they manage to survive, and then everybody's super happy for them. Very fun. Were those war crimes, though? I don't know, but everybody's super <laughs> happy for them. Amazing. So what do you think? Well, you know what? I think it might be refreshing for people to have this kind of classic summer blockbuster again, you know? No superheroes, no over-the-top CGI, no sky beams, just a good original movie, you know? Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Although it is a sequel to a super popular movie. Well, yeah, we need some safety net for this to be successful. Hi everybody, Ryan George here. Thanks for watching that pitch <laughs> meeting. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made you laugh. I hope it made you cry. I hope it made you cry. <laughs> you hearing me? I hope you cried. All right, I'll see you around. Go wipe those tears away. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. I mean, when you explain it that way, it definitely does sound like the end of um, Star Wars, doesn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Yikes. Taps into the Force. No, it's not Star Wars. Good movie though. Obviously, uh, you know, you know, definitely a nod to the 1980s, you know, action-packed uh, movies. So very similar to the first one, but still a good watch as well. Um, as I said, you know, I only watched the um, actual Top Gun at the end of last year, and then I went and watched um, Maverick as well too. So two good movies. You know, good times to you know um, watch and. Uh, you know, definitely got that 80s nostalgic feel to them too. So, uh, good movies. But that was very funny. That was very funny. It hit the nail on the head every time. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel, definitely go check it out. I will link it in the description anyway. So, um, but go check him out. So, guys, thank you very much. Let me know if you enjoyed that. Thumbs up if you did. Remember, if you're new here, make sure you hit that big red button down there. You can't miss it. So, guys, thank you very much. Make sure you stay safe. And I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?